Fear of failure is the fourth fear we will discuss. It is the fear of losing face or appearing less than in the eyes of others. More than any other fear, it stops progress cold. It is the fear of failure which is responsible for the inability of a person to make a decision or the hesitancy to take a risk. If you find you've been standing still in your life, look and see if this fear holds you in its grip. The reality is that there is no such thing as failure. Let me say it again. There is no such thing as failure. Failure is a state of mind. Failure is an attitude. Failure is a way of looking at something. It has nothing to do with the facts. Any experience can be thought of as a failure if you choose so. So why not choose instead to consider all experiences as successes? For example, suppose you run for an elective office and lose. The question is, have you failed? Have the people had an opportunity to express their wishes? Have you had an opportunity to express your ideas? Have the laws of the land been duly executed? If you answer yes to these questions, then where is the failure? Or another example, suppose you don't score high enough on the state's driver exam to qualify for a driver's license. Does that mean you have failed? Have you learned that you need to better understand the laws of the state and the rules that apply to driving? Have the people of the state been protected from having drivers on the road who do not understand the rules? Have you learned what you need to know to get your license? If you answer yes, then where is the failure? Both you and the people of the state are better off, which I would call a success. Usually we apply the term failure to any experience in which we do not like the outcome. A politician does not like losing an election, so he calls himself a failure. A teenager does not like being denied a driver's license, so that too becomes a failure. Outcomes which are liked are called successes. An executive likes her job, therefore she considers herself successful. A husband likes the way his marriage is going, so he calls it successful. The problem arises when we forget that it is the experience we like or dislike and instead consider the like or dislike as applying to ourselves. Now the outcome of an experience becomes the gauge of personal worth. This is the point of despair and depression. Perhaps you've already found yourself there. The way out of failure and the way to avoid the feeling of failure are the same. It begins with a separation of experience and self. You have experiences, and you are more than your experiences. What you experience is only a reflection of where you are and have been, not what you will become. Once you have separated the experience and self, you can then see the experience for what it is, a growth opportunity. Whether you have liked or disliked the outcome, you have learned. Use that knowledge. If you like the outcome, use it to create other similar outcomes. If you dislike the outcome, use the knowledge to avoid any more such outcomes. Either way, you benefit. It's all a matter of attitude.